how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk all about Sherry Baby Orchids. So I've got six of them, and there are six different varieties of Sherry Baby. I may actually have five, um, but there are the different kinds. It's the Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance, it's very popular, and I also have the newer generation Sherry Baby. So I've got the Heaven Scent kinds, and then I've also got the um, Raspberry Chocolate as well. So all of them are derivatives of the main Sherry Baby Orchid, which is the uh, chocolate orchid that's very popular. So I'm gonna show you the differences between their fragrance. I'm looking at it right now. I've got two in bloom, so I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison on um, their growth characteristics, how they smell, how they look, how long those blooms last, so that when you're buying a Sherry Baby Orchid, you'll know which one uh, resonates best with you. If you guys like this kind of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more uh, orchid content. Let's jump right in. All right, I've got three Sherry Babies in front of you. Uh, the Sherry Baby is a very vigorous grower. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of Sherry Babies in general. Um, so the first small one up front is the Sweet Fragrance version. It's very small since I divided it and I kept a small piece of it, so it's going to take some time to establish, but then it'll grow um, pretty quickly from there. The two in the back are the Sherry Baby Red Fantasy Orchids. The Oncidium Sherry Baby is a cross between the Oncidium Jamie Sutton and the Oncidium Honolulu. Now, Jamie Sutton is a cross between the Oncidium Sot Sotoanum crossed with the Oncidium Anthrococrine. I said that wrong. I will put that name down below. Now, the Oncidium Honolulu is a cross between the Oncidium Leucochylum crossed with the Oncidium Mior. These are both uh, primary hybrids, so they've got four different Oncidium types within them. And the best part of this orchid is that it smells either like chocolate or vanilla. Some people smell cookie batter, but it's a very pleasant, sweet smelling orchid. Somehow the so Sotoanum is the um, species inside of a lot of the Oncidium twinkle orchids. So a lot of you folks, when you smell twinkles some some people smell vanilla as well so i think that has a big influence on this orchid now this is an extremely vigorous grower so the heaven scent sweet fragrance can pretty much grow like a weed and that goes for the red fantasy as well so the spikes can grow to be five to six feet tall especially on that sweet fragrance so these orchids are um, very vigorous these are all in moss, but I have a couple that have grown in LECA for me without any issues. I even, the orchid in the red pot in the back, I used to have in bark in a mesh pot, and I only used to water it once per week. That orchid took abuse. Um, it was my first Sherry Baby from six, seven years ago, but it's still kicking. So these orchids live a very long time. Now what I'd say sticks out about the regular Sherry Baby is that the spikes get very long. So as I mentioned, it's five to six feet. These grow quite large, so these plants can double on you uh, within a year. The orchid on the left was a seedling last year. I potted it in that clay pot, and it's gonna need a repot. As you can see, I repotted it June of 2020. I'm actually gonna be giving this one away since I already have the Red Fantasy next to it. But another characteristic of the Sherry Baby uh, is that the leaves tend to spot pretty easily. So if I take you a little bit closer, you could see some spotting on that Red Fantasy. So these are very prone to leaf spotting. Um, it's not a big deal if you get water on them, they will spot, but um, it's just a characteristic of the plant. Sometimes you'll see some black dots on it, um, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. They're just prone to leaf fungal infections. Won't hurt the plant. These grow nicely, they smell like chocolate. However, there is a newer generation of Sherry Baby, which is called Heaven Scent, which I will show you right now. Alrighty, so this is the Oncidium Heaven Scent. To the left, we've got Oncidium Heaven Scent Sweet Baby, and to the right, we've got Oncidium Heaven Scent Redolence. 
and this is a Sherry Baby cross. This is a newer cross. So the Sherry Baby was registered in 1983, and then the Oncidium Heaven Scent is more recent, and it was registered in 2005. So the Heaven Scent is a cross between the Sherry Baby and the Oncidium Ruffles. So it's got the same parents on the Sherry Baby side, and then for the Ruffles, Ruffles is a cross between Oncidium Sotoanum again and the Oncidium Fuscatum. So we've got a little bit more of that uh, Sotoanum in there once more, which is that twinkle parent. The flowers look very similar, and um, they, they smell very good. So this is supposed to be next generation in that it's supposed to remain more compact than the actual Sherry Baby. What I'll say is that the Heaven Scent Sweet Baby I find is very comparable in size to the Sherry Baby. So I wouldn't say it's more compact for me. However, the Heaven Scent Redolence is much smaller. As you can see the bulbs to the right, this was a seedling I purchased last year it's in spike. The spike is not supposed to get as tall. So I'd say that the redolence is just has a more compact uh, growing habit, which can be great if you want that vanilla or that chocolate fragrance, but you're short on space. The blooms are very, very pretty on the Heaven Scent Sweet Baby. They look very f similar to the uh, Sherry Baby themselves. I'd say that the spike is very thin, just like the Sherry Baby. And then the redolence looks a little bit different. I'll put a picture so you guys could see it, but the redolence has a little bit of detail at the end of the petals, which adds a nice little dimension. So a little bit more detail, a little bit more different, and much smaller. Up next, we've got the Oncidium, AKA Baby Raspberry Chocolate. And um, this is an even newer generation of Sherry Baby. So this orchid was registered in 2008. So this is the even newest Sherry Baby generation. As you can see, these blooms are larger than the Heaven Sent Sweet Baby. They're also, uh, the colors are a little bit different as well. Not only are the flowers more clustered, but we also have a thicker spike. And I'll put them side by side at the end so you can uh, see the comparison between them. But I'd say that this is a more um, improved Sherry Baby in that the blooms last longer. Typically what I found for the Sherry Baby um, Heaven Scent Sweet Baby as well as the regular Sherry Babies, those blooms last about three weeks, whereas these uh, raspberry chocolate orchids, they last about a month. They have more substance overall compared to the regular Sherry Baby orchid. Now in terms of why this orchid looks different, it's because it's a cross between the Sherry Baby crossed with the Oncidium Jimbo. And now that is also a cross between the Oncidium Kilauea, which is a very complex Oncidium hybrid, crossed with the Oncidium Fuscatum. So the Fuscatum is also apparent in the Heaven Scent, and it's got a nice pink lip in it. So they have a lot of the same parents, but it's got a much more complex hybrid in there. So the Sherry Baby is made of four different Oncidium orchids, and this orchid over here has a, is a cross between many more orchids. So this one is more vigorous, I find. The blooms last, last much longer and they're much tighter. So this one gives you a better show. I have this one growing in Lekka and it's not having any problems at all. So let's get into this more. In terms of size, my vote goes to the Heaven Scent Redolence because it's much smaller than the rest of these orchids. You can see that on the right hand side, it's pushing out a spike and it's much smaller than the other Sherry Babies. With that being said, it's going to push out a lot of bulbs. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if it grows um, and fills up more pots. However, I don't think the bulbs are going to get as big as my Heaven Sent Sweet Baby or my other um, Sherry Baby Orchid. So it's going to be much smaller. In terms of fragrance, the Oncidium Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance wins. Now this is an orchid that looks like the Heaven Sent Sweet Baby, however the bottom is white, um, the lip is actually white. However, 
the fragrance on Sweet Fragrance is the strongest out of all of these orchids. Um, so that one definitely wins. That's not to say that Heaven Sent Sweet Baby isn't fragrant or Oncidium Raspberry Chocolate isn't. It's just the Sweet Fragrance is a much more intense smell. So if you don't like to have too much fragrance, you may want to stick with some of the other hybrids and not Sweet Fragrance. Um, in terms of the blooms, I'm going to go for the um, Oncidium Raspberry Chocolate. As you can see, the blooms are very tightly clustered. When you see that in comparison with the Heaven Scent Sweet Baby, you can see that you get more blooms. So just for that and the uh, blooms lasting longer, I'm giving it to the Oncidium uh, Raspberry Chocolate. You can see a big difference between how thick the actual spike is and how nice and waxy the blooms are. So these last much longer than these. And of course your, your blooms lasting will be completely dependent on your environment and the heat and so on and so forth. I really love all of these orchids, but I'd say that my favorite is going to have to be the raspberry chocolate just for that bloom density. Now it smells wonderful and it's very delicious. I'll say that they all smell a tiny bit different with the, um, with the Oncidium Sherry Baby smelling the strongest. Heaven, sm Heaven Scent smells good, but you have to get a little bit closer to smell it. And then the Oncidium um, Sherry Baby Red Fantasy also smells pretty good. I'd say that Red Fantasy is a bit stronger than Heaven Scent, but the winner for that fragrance is going to have to be Sweet Fragrance. If you guys don't have too much space, I'd say stay away from that uh, Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance and then opt for more of that... Um, Heaven Scent Redolence, because that's going to stay smaller for you. In terms of the spikes, you have to be real careful. So the Heaven Scent is a newer generation orchid. It's supposed to be smaller, but what I find is that the spike can get to be around three feet tall. Same with the Raspberry Chocolate. The spikes on the Oncidium a Sherry Baby Sweet Fragrance can get to about six feet tall. So that's if you grow them in optimal condition. So that's something to keep in mind. Let, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite and if you've noticed any differences between the different Sherry Baby orchids. Thank you guys for watching and talk soon. Bye.